March 2020 would, without a doubt, be one of the most defining moments in history, as the United States, and most of the world, would completely shut down during this time. City streets would become empty, people would be out of work, and we'd all be stuck inside as all forms of outside entertainment and activities would be closed in the next few months. Months later, places would begin to open back up, sparking much controversy. However, no reopening has been more controversial than the reopening of schools. While many schools continue online learning, some schools have taken the risk and have reopened with in-person learning. My high school being one of them. <laughs> So, towards the end of July, my high school announced its reopening plan, which you can find in this video. And since then, they've committed to their plan and have reopened the school. So what's it like? Well, for starters, we have to wear a mask, which has had its own struggles. You see, last week, at the time I'm writing this, was unseasonably hot and humid. By the way, if you live in a state that's in a dry heat, you have no right to complain because humidity sucks. And on top of that, my high school doesn't have AC because apparently they can afford to build a new football field and a new parking lot, but they can't afford some AC. So you can imagine plenty of people broke the rules when it came to wearing a mask that week. Speaking of which, that's probably been the most annoying part about this reopening. So many people don't wear their mask correctly and don't cover their nose. And when I point out to them that they're wearing their mask wrong, they either ignore me or tell me to shut up. Like, excuse me? Are you trying to say I'm the annoying one? We can have that conversation once you cover your ugly nose, Pinocchio. And I wear glasses, so when I wear the mask, it often fogs them up every time I breathe. Yet I still cover my nose, so what's your excuse? Another thing the school is quote unquote enforcing is distancing. And I say quote unquote for a reason because they're doing a horrible job. It said that they would distance the deaths apart. However, I walked into my first class on the first day and thought to myself, this is distancing? It literally looks exactly how they'd be normally. In some of the classes, I can't even fit through the desk just to walk to my desk in the back of the classroom. And this is a great example on why trying to enforce these guidelines in a school is pretty difficult. I don't know if you realize this by now, but half the point of school is being around other people, sitting next to each other in class, eating in the cafeteria with each other, walking with each other in the crowded hallways, doing group presentations, and other examples. And during a time where we're supposed to be staying away from people whenever possible, it's pretty dang hard to open school. The hallways are still crowded, the classrooms are still tightly packed, and it's all around just a disaster waiting to happen. Oh wait, a disaster did happen. On the 1st of September, I received an email from my high school confirming that someone in the school had tested positive for C-19. Less than three full weeks since school began. Who could have seen that coming? Not me. And yet, despite this, we still have to go back to school. It's amazing how school's attitude towards everything was, we need to shut down right away. We cannot let our students get sick at all. Remember, my Catholic diocese shut schools down before the state shut schools down in March. And Illinois was one of the first few states to shut schools down. And now that attitude is just, oh, we'll just quarantine the track team the student was in and it'll be fine. Because it's not like the track team kids hang out with other kids outside of track and could have spread it to them. No, 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 no. That's crazy talk. Okay, to give my high school credit, since I recorded this part of the video, all the track kids are back because apparently they're all fine. So I'll give them credit for that one. But again, all it takes is one, and it could have easily went really far south. Honestly, this was doomed to happen from the start. Oh, but I'm not that complaining yet. One thing I find odd is that when we leave a class, we have to get hand sanitizer, which makes sense. But then when we enter a class, we also have to get hand sanitizer. Like, what do they expect me to do between walking from class to class? Lift the walls in the hallway and then spit on my hands? And because of reopening, classes are now only a half hour long instead of the full 45 minutes. And so, exactly what I expected would happen is starting to happen. Where we don't get any time to start the homework because of the shortened classes. And so it results in way more homework than normal. Fun times all around the board, I guess. Also, because of the fact that we currently don't have lockers and we have to carry everything in our book bag, those book bags are feeling a little bit, actually a large amount, heavier than normal. And as of right now, all but one of my classes is on the third floor. So those walk up the stairs are just the best. Brady, you just like to complain about everything, don't you? This entire video has just been nothing but you complaining. Yes, if you haven't noticed by now, that's what I like to do when I talk about school. Well, has anything gonna come out of reopening? No. Moving on. Okay, fine. I will admit these first weeks did have their good moments. One instance being, during biology class one day, there's a wasp flying around on someone's desk. 
The person sitting there obviously moved and the wasp stayed on that desk for a while. But then it began flying around the classroom. And it flew at one lady's desk and she immediately smacked it with a spiral and sent it flying my way. And so I immediately sprung out of my desk and yelled, Name you idiot! What? Would you not react the same if a wasp just came flying at your desk? Oh yeah, and at the end of class, turns out the wasp was actually still alive. So sorry for anyone in that next class. I bet that was fun. However, was that brief story worth a kid catching the CV? Probably not. And look, I understand we need to reopen schools eventually. We can't stay on lockdown forever and people need to get back to work. However, if we can't even make it three weeks without something going wrong, that's probably a pretty good indicator that now isn't the best time to do so. But whatever. I'll see you guys on the Zoom call in a couple weeks.